The Jaguar XE is the newest car on test and the first time in a long time that Jaguar has competed in the medium prestige sedan segment. As the widest and lowest car on test, the Jaguar definitely felt the most agile through corners, but those sports car looks do mean some considerable concessions have been made for interior space. The XE has the lowest headroom in the category and its tighter dimensions gave the least amount of room for backseat passengers. While a Jag doesn't have the comfort, space and ergonomic flair of the others on test, it feels the most sporty. It's really engaging. Front end grip is brilliant. Cornering is amazing. With optional 19 inch wheels, we anticipated a harsh ride, but were pleasantly surprised at how well the larger wheel performed, particularly when compared to the BMW. The Jag's engine felt sportier than its rivals and its transmission more adaptive. It wasn't the fastest against a stopwatch, however, and although the XE's stopping distance was the best on test, our judges criticised the pedal's wooden feel. The XE's infotainment interface is easy to use with clear display, though we note that many of the features in the model on test are optional, adding to a list price that equals the Mercedes-Benz as the second highest on test. This higher price point and unproven future value along with a lack of practical interior space, saw the Jaguar lose out to the Lexus as our pick for practical daily driver. But we all agreed that for outright enjoyment, the XE R Sport would be our pick of the prestige pack.